Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That is a sunset in, um, I think it's in Wasaga Beach. Hi, this, uh, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share with you um, <clears throat> Luke 6, 45. It says, what you say flows from what is in your heart. Here's my poem. Words reflect your heart. Do you hear what comes out of your mouth? Does it resonate God's truth aloud? Do you say something to encourage someone? Or did you hurt somebody and made them run? What do you say flows from what is in your heart? When you speak lies, you are living in the dark. When you align your mouth with God's word, you will be able to win over sin and the world. Here's my essay. Do you ever listen to what comes out of your mouth? Despite my analytical mind, it took me a while to actually objectively hear what I say. One day, when I caught myself on a video that I was preparing for a performance for a show, I saw my attitude towards my husband. I was shocked to hear and see what kind of haughty person I was when I get so much into perfecting a performance. I was rude and kind and demanding. It was ugly. I played it again and again. I felt the Holy Spirit convict me of that spirit of pride and performance that kept me in bondage for so many years. My words and attitude reflected the condition of my soul and heart. I was hurting and angry. What I say and how I act was coming from my deeply wounded soul. Prayer. Lord, help me to keep my mind and heart pure. Reflection. How can we guard what we say and what we do? I think the only way that we can guard what we say and what we do is if we are constantly in the Word of God. When we are in the Word of God and we have this certain hunger to know the truth and to become more like God, we will be able to see the way we are objectively based on the truth. When we do not know the truth, there is no basis for us to know how to examine ourselves. We can probably examine ourselves, but that will be based on the standards of the world, which is not what God's standard is. And I used to, because how critical I am of others is also how critical I am of myself. Uh, because I grew up <clears throat> always being criticized, I started to believe the lies that was being told to me. For example, like say, oh, you're ugly. You know, you'll never have anybody love you because you're ugly. I believe that. When you're a child and you hear that constantly, you start to believe that. But that is the enemy making us believe these lies and keeping us in bondage from, being, from, from living in sin. So it took me many years before I was able to... Um, expose the lie. Actually, it's only a few years from now that I started looking at the lies that I, that uh, I think there is a book entitled uh, The Lies That I Was Told. So when you are able, when the Spirit of God convicts you, and this will only happen if you know the truth in God's Word. And sometimes the Spirit can teach you. And I know the Spirit has taught me, even when I was seven years old, because I had a direct communication with the Spirit. I always talked to God every day, even as a child, up to now. But for us to be able to confirm what the Spirit is saying is by looking at the Word of God. So if we don't look at the Word of God, and we don't believe the Word of God, and we don't follow the Word of God, then we're in trouble because we're going to have more conflicts in ourselves. And there there will be more lies and the enemy will be able to penetrate and keep on lying and lying and keeping us in bondage.
So the only way that we will be able to guard what we say and what we do is by aligning our lives and our thoughts and our hearts to what God wants us to be. So <clears throat> thanks for watching and I invite you to start examining yourself by getting into the habit of reading the Bible and and praying before you read because reading is something else. Don't just read with your mind, read with your heart and read with a hunger that you want to know more about God and you want to change for God and you want to become more like Him every day. Have a blessed day.